afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are the team from Macau Polytechnic Institute. And first, allow me to introduce ourselves. I'm Lava, this is Basson, this is Mavis, and Jennifer. So today we're going to look at KFC in China, a popular West, uh, American uh, Western food brand in its most profitable market. So we're going to like look at KFC's food safety crisis and how we, we are going to handle it. So our strategy of handling its food crisis is CNT strategy, that is centralization and transparency for the two keywords. Our plan will be divided into four parts, introduction, feasibility, implementation, and outcomes. First comes introduction part. So about KFC's food crisis, safety crisis, it's first happened in the breeding industry. Uh, it, you, it's once reported to use illegal chemicals into its chickens to enhance the product taste and appearance, also in, in, enhance its pro productivity. Uh, there's rumors saying that it used chemicals, uh, it used chemicals to feed chickens it, uh, so that they can grow eight legs, that it, it can save a lot of cost. Uh, and also the bird flu heavily influenced its uh, chickens and also uh, are, are badly criticized by the customers. And secondly, it's about its losing customer trust. Of course, it is caused by its, this crisis. So a lot of, cri a lot of crisis, uh, criticism and also the shrinking revenue is the problem it's facing, it is facing currently. And more seriously, it is also facing the rising competition. That is a lot, a lot of local, domestic, and Asian fast food brands like Kung Fu and Hua Lai Shi. They're uh, they're pricing low, lower, and they provide more customized food, which uh, which gave KFC a big challenge. Next slide, please. So, how are we gonna solve this? It's about our CNT strategy. First, uh, sorry, we'll sort of, uh, we'll apply the CNT strategy in this three uh, process. Actually, it's the, it, it happens, it occurs in whole supply chain management and it's after supply chain publicity and uh, uh, public relation manage, uh, management. Uh, first, let's look at its reading. We think we should insist outsourcing in its uh, chicken sourcing uh, part. And also we'll use transparent tracking system that our members will uh, explain it later in detail. And also we strongly propose the vertical integration method. That is, we integrate all the uh, upstream supply and downstream suppliers and customers together to make it a better brand. And in logistic part, we use the centralized ERP, which is for enterprise resource planning, this kind of technology to centralize the whole management model of KFC in China. And also details will be explained later. And the last part for the CS CMT strategy is about price management. That is how we respond quickly and politely in a pleasant manner to the uh, to the public relation crisis, we manage through social networks like we use microblog uh, called Weibo in China today uh, to to respond uh, to solve the customer complaints, and also we use two-way communication to send those customer complaints back to the company and to to uh, to generate a faster flow of information. And next, our members will introduce the feasibility and implementation outcome part. Thank you. So I will probably talk about the feasibility of our strategy. Um, it's, it's talk about the current situation that can help our strategy to succeed. Um, so first, first point is about the supply chain concept. The first of all, it is KFC that the uh, worldwide enterprise so that it can uh, gain the experience from the 
parents company, it's parents company, like the parents company have the sophisticated supply chain management and also the IT technology uh, are de uh, with the in deployment of the IT technology, uh, it can help us to realize our centralized and transparency strategy and also uh, we can take the Amazon as an example that it used the hand holding scans and uh, machines so we can uh, be similar to that uh, we can also use the hand holding scan machine to help us manage the, our QR code and we will explain it later and then the infrastructures of China is that China have the have a mature, well-organized uh, transportation network so that the supply chain can be achieved, can be succeed in the future. And the second point is about the press management. We use the social networks in this point. And for the social networks, because the social network has a major characteristic of the low entry barriers, you can just uh, open a, um, a website um, the company's website so that the customers can access to your to your company's website and also uh, with the development of the internet of course the uh, internet user is also increasing so that um, the different uh, users a large population of users can um, operate on different platforms so the characteristic of the social networking a website or platform can also help us to achieve our goals in our strategy and also the search engine optimization is that if the KFC gains the reputations, good reputations in the society and also on the website that if they the customers use the search engine they can access to the reputation of, they can get to know about the reputation of KFC so what exactly we can do to implement our uh, strategy? The first of all, breeding. We use the outsourcing strategy. That is the major characteristic is that we use the tracking system. Here, um, we based on the case that the, this tracking system is used by the company, but here we modify this system so that the, the code can be um, can be. Uh, accessed by the by the customer and the customer can search the QR codes online on uh, their company's website and the second point is about the co cooperation with the up upstream suppliers uh, we should actually limit our numbers of suppliers and also the Chinese authority will help the companies to regular test their production process um, and the annual report will be published to the Chinese people so that the, the public will have, will have the basic concept of the what is going on um, in this company. And the last part is the vertical integration. We use this part to uh, integrate the upstream suppliers and also downstream customers. So let me, intro uh, I mean, yeah, let me introduce the logistics part for you. For logistics, we want to establish our central warehouse. Uh, the central warehouse will include three parts. The first is the central database, where we store all the data and the information of the whole, all uh, retail stores and the suppliers, uh, even some transport um, process data in one database so that with the integrated central database, all data can be easily, uh, read, um, uh, can be easily read and uh, used in any uh, branch computer in any KFC's companies or retail stores to check all the information about its supply chain. And then the second one is the central distribution. It means we, will, we have a central warehouse so we will allocate all the transportation and the distribution how um, the amount of the um, uh, product uh, how, how amount of the product should we display to uh, um, uh, which uh, shop 
um, or are controlled by the central uh, so that we can avoid the um, waste because all the data is stored in here and we know actually how many things they actually need. And the third one is about central control. Um, it's the central control of, qual uh, of the quality of the products and uh, all the process um, related to it. Uh, it can not only reduce the conflicts and the misunderstanding, but also it's very powerful when there have some problems. It can easily find where if the problem happens and we can fix it immediately. And then um, without the, uh, with the central warehouse, another sh thing we should take a, a pay attention is uh, we use the cold chain logistics as because there are so many different retail stores in different cities, but the, but the central warehouse is in one city in the area so that uh, cold chain logistics can make sure the um, chickens are fresh meant and with high quality. And so uh, it needs some uh, investment and uh, the um, developed technology in the, in the supply chain management. Next, please. And the third part is after the supply chain management, we get the final product and uh, uh, sell it to our customers. And then it lets me um, talk about crisis management. If there's any uh, problems or crisis, how should the um, a company uh, to feedback it? We, uh, we strategy is use the social network because the social network can faster response and there is two-way communication as mentioned. And uh, um, for do that, firstly we have to set up our official account for KFC in the main platform and the uh, website for social network such, such as in land of China uh, Microblog, Weib uh, Weibo, uh, such kind of things. And uh, another thing is we have to have uh, employees focus on our social network to find what problems and uh, what comments given by our customers in the social network and uh, respond to them and solution the problems immediately to avoid any potential big crisis. And uh, the third one is um, the police the KFC can use is let all of its employees to be it as a spoke as a speak man. It means it can allow its staff to introduce some details about the company to the customers. Let the customers know more about the company and uh, be friends with its staff to enhance their co two way communication between the company and uh, the uh, um, customers. Next is about the outcomes that Faxon to introduce to you. Okay, now we'll introduce you the outcomes of, of our centralization and transparency strategy. So, um, like uh, in before, uh, KFC, um, they have also like some scandals, but they can recover fast from the crisis. And this time, um, like this instant chicken crisis, KFC is not able to recover that fast. So um, as we agreed, um, like the uh, shareholder of KFC, it is not mainly because the uh, economic uh, downturn or economic changing of China. It is about the lose of customers' confidence and trust. So our strategy, Make, cus make our customers know more about our product. Even though we will be responsible for our chicken, but the customers, if they want, they can check the sources of the product as long as they want. And the customers gain more autonomy over information and they will be a more, have more confidence in KFC company. So next, the outcome will be ensure the transparency uh, over various parties like consumers, like the public, the society, the government, and uh, uh, stakeholders like employees, like shareholders. Because even though they 
do not directly consume the product of KFC, but the security of food in KFC does involve their interests. Like to um, the public, to the government, the if the public or uh, if the public agencies cannot control the quality and this kind of scandals um, happen over and over, the government agencies will suffer also. So and the, for the stakeholders like the shareholders and employees, they also have vested interests and uh, our policy uh, once implemented and uh, they also have more they also have, can have their rights to know and their rights to be involved in the production and the information. And next, it is revamp the brand image of KFC. Our strategy can help KFC to build a responsible, safe, and transparent image because, like um, we have illustrated, Customers and other parties can know what happened in the production, and uh, the brand image will be benefited from this strategy. And next, it is gain customers' insights. We will involve customers and involve uh, invite customers to ask us questions about various uh, production um, productions in the social networks and the customers, once we communicate with them, we can know their ideas, we can hear their voices and uh, customers are who we are serving for. So with their ideas and feedbacks, KFC can improve not only the big section of the production but also the details and the uh, details like uh, how customers like the ambience of the store, how customers like the taste of the food can also be gained uh, like as accidentally through the communication process. Next, it is efficiency in long term can be gained because it is a tendency to, uh, to um, have the IT system and uh, integrated system over the um, whole production process and the supply chain. And uh, the, um, if we have is established this integrated system and the various costs and the control costs can be saved in the long term because the unified, um, unified management can save the costs and uh, cut down the um, cut down uh, unnecessary uh, procedures in the whole process. So next is for the conclusion. We are living the age of transparency because we have the internet and customers uh, um, have better and better education and uh, they know more about the products and know more about the um, about uh, everything. So the, uh, the transparency of information gives them power and uh, for an enterprise it is impossible to continue to do business alone without the customer's involvement. So, they, so um, the transparent information can, can make custom can make uh, our strategy can make the information more transparent and uh, next the age of quality the quality we are seeking for uh, the standards are improving and uh, we will show our customer what we do for them and uh, as what they require a high standard of quality and uh, our policy will also um, help the customers involve more and make their experiences of doing business with us better. So, um, all in all, 
We believe that our um, centralization and transparency strategy will help to re-establish the trust and help KFC to prosper in the long term. So this is the economy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We have two minutes of Q&A. Sure. Um, could you tell me a little bit more about your um, strategy of vertical integration? You say it's between KFC suppliers and customers. Um, for the vertical integration, it is more about the supply chain management of KFC. It means KFC should integrate its upstream suppliers such as the farmers and uh, the processors of the chickens. And the KFC, it is retail stores as the middle uh, process and it is customers as the downstream of the supply chain. So if they integrate all the things together, the three parts can share all the information and uh, can know each other what happens, uh, what happens in each other. They can understand the whole situation more clearly and so that they can reduce the conflicts because of misunderstanding or the lack of information and they can responsible, uh, faster, uh, respond faster to some potential problems and solve, them to get, uh, solve the problems together. And it not use only KFC's strengths, but also can integrate all the competitive advantages from its suppliers KFC itself, also the help of its customers together to solve the um, problems and so that uh, the vertical integration have two aims. Is first is shared information and the second is increase the cooperation. Um, on your implementation, when you were talking about the breeding, and tell me if I'm wrong, but at the moment, where the problems happen, KFC aren't breeders of chickens, right? They don't breed the chickens. They outsource at the moment, and that's where the problem is, mm. the lack of control. So, so where is the difference? What you said, you say you're going to outsource. Where's the difference? Because uh, they outsource at the moment. We want to outsource there are two, uh, um, uh, two reasons. The first reason is because the export is too expensive. If increase the uh, uh, import chickens, uh, increase the cost, uh, KFC have to increase its price, and uh, you know China's economy is uh, go down. So the customers may cannot offer such high set a high price and uh, KFC will lose its price advantages compared with other um, dem domestic uh, competitors in demand of China the markets. And uh, the second reason we use outsource is because KFC actually itself is a fast food company. It's not professional in uh, uh, branding chickens or other things. It, if it wants to feed the uh, chickens by itself, it must waste a lot of human resources and uh, capital. It will lo lose a lot of money and time. It's not efficiency. So we believe outsource is more efficiency and cheaper than that. Um, and um, uh, to salute the um, outsource, because outsource do have the risk of uh, lose of control, but KFC so that that's why it ha should have its tracking system and let all the customers involved to its tracking sy system so that not only KFC but also the customer and the government together watch on the upstream suppliers. If they do some bad things, all of the world will know that. And um, so it, it, it is actually salutes the problems before it actually happened. It just warmed the, um, it gave a warm to the upstream um, suppliers. We are watching in you and all the data we know, all the information we know, you are in my control. If you do some bad things, we will know that and you know the result will be very uh, bad because customers and the government will know the things at the same time. So that the KFC is not fighting by itself, but it also with the China's powerful government and the most powerful customers. Uh, 
and we actually the tracking system is one of the major characteristics that we involve in our uh, outsourcing strategy. We establish this uh, system and uh, it's for that we involve actually involve our customers to um, uh, work with us to uh, supervise or oversee the suppliers, the whole production process or the breeding process of the suppliers so that we can also rebuild our trust uh, from the customer. Yeah, um, your uh, assessment of the transparency issue I think is, uh, is uh, spot on. Uh, you definitely, I think, uh, as a team, understand that today we're living in a world of hyper-transparency where we cannot hide any longer, where uh, everybody has access to information, and that information then uh, puts uh, people and companies on uh, more of an equal playing field. Uh, I also uh, like your um, um, suggestion regarding the two-way communication. Certainly, uh, with the social media, two-way communication is, is more easy, easily enabled. But in the area of uh, crisis management, uh, um, how do you propose that the uh, uh, KFC implement a crisis management uh, system internally within their organization? Um, firstly, in ATS organization, the ERP system have it. Uh, the ERP system have it is one function is measure all the things in the company. If there is one thing different from ATS standard, the computer will send a warm let the manager know there is a problem in your organization. And uh, uh, with the integrated. Um, um, uh, the supply chain in the management can um, the management entity can find the problems easily and so that they can solve the problems before it happens. And in another way with social network, when customers find some little problems, it will put it in Weibo such as um, because it's very uh, popular and the KFC will know oh there is a problem immediately because the customer report it. And then it can solve the problem and immediately give the feedback to the customer and the, all the audience in the, uh, on the internet. We have solved the problem. There is no problem in our product. And so that it can increase communication efficiency. Um, uh, uh, so, so, so that we, that um, the company can build a more, uh, can build its trust and uh, it can optimize its cooperation management. So, and uh, we believe that the problem is mainly about the quality control. So, for the internal structure of KFC company, we believe that if there is uh, like a new vision and a new strategy uh, pu is put forward, we believe that it can also handle the crisis. Um, that was my, uh, the question I had, uh, and maybe now it can be more of a statement, um, just to give you some thoughts. The question I had was that the, the solution that you've come up with for the crisis management is to, ins is to ensure that there's an active and well-monitored social network. Um, but to me, that sounds like a, a management on, on a day-to-day -day basis that would handle occasional complaints by customers and maybe some build up of complaints by a group of customers, it would allow the quick two way communication that you've identified as important. But if it was a real crisis where the whole network swelled up in complaints and it was advertisements and stories in the newspapers and on the television, I was just wondering whether that network would be sufficient on its own to manage a crisis particularly if it's a new, a new crisis, as you've rightly pointed out, the current crisis is mostly about the quality, but what if that gets fixed with all your solutions and then there's a new, completely different crisis? Do you think the social network would be enough to handle that? Should there be different avenues? Uh, yeah, I think it will depend on the problem that KFC encounter. Because of, uh, currently the problem is the quality control, and we have the um, we have the integrated 
like database system to help the supply chain management, and we have better quality and. Uh, so uh, for other issues, if customers still have questions and if they are cannot be satisfied by the transparent system, we can answer their questions on the social network. Mm -hmm. But for other issues, I think it will depend. Mm -hmm. okay. I think the database provides information and it's a tool. Uh, but in the end, you have to take actions based on the data or information that you have available. Um, looking at the quality uh, issue again, um, in order to ensure the quality within the supply chain, um, what sort of uh, suggestions or thoughts have you, you have in terms of uh, implementing a, a, a control and monitoring system? Uh, firstly, we want to solve the problem before it happens. So we do all the things for um, we do all the things for control the supply chain. But if there are actually some crises happen, firstly with the social network work, we can respond all the things immediately and fastly. Let our customers know what actually happened. Let they never lose their confidence on us and don't think us. Um, and don't think KFC as a cheater or the company intend to handle the truth. And uh, another thing is with all the, um, the information technology tools, we want to increase our um, efficiency in monitor all the things because with the traditional ways we cannot put our eyes in any corner of the corporation. Um, and so that with the um, IT system, and uh, some new technology, we want to centralize the control. And if there are any problems, not, on, not only can solve it uh, with our partners, but also can feedback it immediately. For example, you know this, um, this chicken from uh, a factor has some problems. I can immediately cut down the supply chain and uh, um, inform, the, uh, inform the a factor to find out well is the uh, a problem and then let this trick never go into a customer's dishes. And, uh, be beyond for that, because we control all the steps in the supply chain, so when we identify where the problem is, actually is, we can give some um, punishment or stop the cooperation relationship with the supplier so that, um, can, uh, that can let our suppliers to pay more attention to their products as, uh, and with safe raw materials, uh, the KFC can produce more safe food for its customers. To add a little bit more, um, I guess what you mean is that how our data monitoring process work in the production especially process, right? Uh, on the one hand, we have our government uh, authorities regularly test during the whole process of production, which means that once the unqualified chicken is found, it is dropped and it will go, it will not go to the next step. On the other hand, uh, as mentioned before, the QR code is not only uh, planned in the final session of the consumption, which is means on the hamburger box finally distributed to the consumer. It, it also planned in every steps in the pro production uh, process. For example, we first, we have to breed a chicken when it, uh, when it uh, grows enough. Uh, there is a QR code plant on a ties on its legs. And next we move to the uh, process, uh, process part. And also uh, the processors can identify whether it is a healthy uh, qualified chicken at uh, at his uh, at his uh, examination and move to next is the cold chain. Uh, also similar like before, it can uh, scan uh, using co QR code and next move to the sellers or retailers and also they can use the QR code. So every step with a monitoring system. That's good to be able to have that traceability and uh, tracking throughout the entire uh, life cycle of the production 
process. And uh, today, that 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 type of systems are are aren't uh, uh, aren't uh, uh, well uh, used. Uh, but I think they hold great potential for many products, including uh, agricultural products. And that's a good point. We have 20 seconds left for Q&A, so <laughs> unless there's a really quick question, I guess that will be the end of uh, this session. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank uh, you. Round of applause.